This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the six-minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. Good luck and Godspeed. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. up on the top like a bug on the a ladybug on the end of your automobile's whip antenna. So as these big engines were thrashing around to keep this thing straight up, boy the end of the ladybug was getting thrashed. And uh, it was so loud we couldn't talk. The vibration, the thrashing was violent and you couldn't see the instrument panel. But uh, when we cleared the pad and uh, had some aerodynamic stability and didn't have this noise. Why well, thing uh, things steadied out. By that time, my heart stopped racing. You never could train for the entire mission. You could never train for the emotion of that 14 minutes of descending on the surface of the moon. You're coming down on your back. You really don't see the moon until you're, you start down from 50,000 feet, and you really don't pitch over. And, and you're flying a vehicle for the most part, and you, you pitch over 7,000 feet, and we landed in a valley that was surrounded by mountains on three sides higher than the Grand Canyon is deep. And all of a sudden, bang, you are down among them. And, and the ground's telling you things, your partner's giving you numbers, and you're looking out the window, and you're, you're flying needles, and watching what the radar is telling you. You get an indication that you're in a, with about three meters of the surface by a little light that goes on. As soon as that happens, you shut down. Shut the engine down, because if you don't and you land with the engine running, the back pressure, they determine the back pressure might be so great it would blow up the lunar module when you land it. So, you know, you're not gonna let that happen either. And when you touch down, you shut the engine down and plunk, the dust is gone. The vibration is gone. And the, the noise is gone. Nobody's talking. And all of a sudden you realize you are now where no human beings have ever been in the history of mankind ever before. Always shoot for the moon. Maybe not literally, but figuratively. Always shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you're going to land somewhere among the stars. <laughs> 